Because you could really yeah. talk about how you processed him growing up. And maybe you can talk about how he connected to you and your family. Yeah, I mean, that's what's so interesting is you don't know it when you're growing up that, you know, he was a narrator for so much of my own life. Right. We had him on every day. And, you know, it was in the background. Like, obviously, there were times we were watching the game. There's many times we were eating dinner, doing homework, having a family conversation, and there was Vin's voice. And looking back on it and realizing this well before I ever had to talk about him is how much Vin was a part of our family because of that. And, you know, I'm sure it's like that, you know, with other local teams where the game is on, but there's something about Vin that felt like he was sitting in your living room. Right. And a lot of it was his style and the way that he would story tell and his genuine, just comforting voice, um, how he would welcome you on air, thank you when he was done. Like, it just felt like he was a part of the family. You know, we're having dinner and th- there was Vin, you know, at the head of the table sharing a story with us. And Vin was always actually a refreshing breath, like a, a breath of fresh air of bringing something other than the technique and mechanics. Because, I, you know, for anyone who's been a coach's child yeah. knows that it's 24 hours a day of coaching. <laughs> like that's, and I love my dad. But, like, you, everything related to, to somehow, like, how this would translate on the field or how this would, you know. And so to hear Vin actually bring in the beauty and the – Gosh, just the the history and like how it could tie into like Greek gods that you could be learning in history or you know some beautiful like you know like mountain that you might see out and like you know like baseball connected with every beautiful thing um, because Vin, Vin would somehow tie it in. Oh yeah, and that that actually opened my eyes up to uh, how beautiful the sport is because it was I grew up with a very technical understanding of baseball and he brought in the beauty of it so today as your career as a broadcaster i was wondering if there were things that vin you can channel you know take away from like learning about how to tell a story your pace your voice your steadiness anything consciously from vin that you sort of take take a breath yeah yeah. um there is such a like constant feeling of like oh my gosh there's a replay i need to talk or i need to you know, just not trying to force anything, but actually feel everything. And it's hard to do. I challenge myself with it all the time because I'm, I am working and I, I, you know, I get this adrenaline rush. And yeah. So I feel like I need to be pointing things out or, and, you know, my natural instinct might be, of course, to get excited, excited on a Max Muncy home run in San Francisco and, like, want to get, you know, amped. And that's fine. That's me. But we're then, at least, when I'm, I'm not trying to necessarily channel Vin, but I definitely have his pace and his presence always with me when I think about baseball. Um, it's just really allowing the game to breathe. And, yeah, Vin was always talking, but it was like he was really just, like, going, weaving within the game itself and not feeling like, okay, this is the time to get my story in and I'm going to tell it right now, but actually really just, like, enjoying the game and, and your voice is just going to be an addition to that.